Okay, here's where I'm at with my first dirty pour. Okay, it's still drying, but while it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and paint this part of the inside edge this color. And then I'm going to do a lighter color on this top band. And then I'm going to reverse them on the outside. I'm going to reverse them on the outside. And we're going to paint that lid to match it. So while we're waiting for the next episode, I just want to let you know what I'm just want to let you know what I'm doing in the in between episodes so you can keep up or follow along or get an idea of what I'm doing. Okay, right now, this is the dirty pour design, and I'm going to do a design inside a design, maybe even another design inside that design. We'll see how it works out, but for right now, I'm just going to paint the inside, and that's all I'm going to do. So, we'll have you right there while I do some regular painting. It's just acrylic paint and glue. That's all I have, so my paintbrush will be saved when I'm done. But, um... I'm going to just paint the inside wall. I'm probably going to have to do this a couple coats. That's why I'm not doing it live and for a whole episode, because this can take a little longer than my, I want it to. I just wanted to give you an idea of what I'm doing. In the meantime, I don't sit still very long. It took so long for this to dry because I put so much water in that mix before, so it's taking longer than normal. And I have, I have in the past used hair dryers, but it messes with my art piece. It wrinkles it up, so I can't do that. So we got to let this dry as on its own. It's going to take another day or so. So we're going to go ahead and just do what we can around it in the meantime. And I'm not going to be perfect about this coat. I'm just trying not to get it down in the art piece, so I can do more t tomorrow when it's drier, closer down there at the bottom. And I will just save my paint when I'm done. I will put a cup over top of it, and I will put some of the paint that's inside here on the top of the lead lip here, and then I'll put another cup on top, and it holds it. It'll seal it, temporary seal. And it'll hold my paint for what I need it for the next day without letting it get dried up. So right now, this is where we're at. It's going to look so pretty when it's done, but it's going to look really funny while I'm, or horrible while I'm in between stages. But what we're making out of this, what I've decided I'm going to do, is I'm going to make a little makeup stand. Uh, I'm going to put a mirror inside the lid on the underneath side. And I'm going to use popsicle sticks down the road. And I'm going to build a frame where on the outside it can hold the lid when you take it off. So you can hold it up and use it as a mirror. And all the makeup can go inside here. And then when you're done, you can take the lid off and close it again. And it might just have a little bit of a prong sticking out from um, the popsicle sticks to be able to hold it up on the side. But that'll be the only thing, and we can decorate it all. So... Right now, that's what my idea is, and um, it'd make a nice little uh, talking piece or gift for someone, maybe someone who likes it, you can gift it to them if you make one, or you can make it for yourself. Like I said, it's really therapeutic to do this stuff for yourself, because you're less critical on yourself if you're not going to give it to someone, right? Well, I am. So, just make it out of love for yourself, and you should love yourself. And this is very therapeutic to watch when it does the dirty pour. You can twist your, your container and move the design as you want. Um, you'll see if you ever try this. But if you have a watery mix, it's going to take longer to dry than just 20 minutes or 2 hours. It can take a few days, just so you know. And that's with Elmer's glue paint and, a, and uh, acrylic paint and uh, water. It, it takes more than a day to dry. So, see how much more I feel comfortable doing here. But the big inside band is going to be this color. And the inside top band is going to be a lighter. I, th I think this is the Caribbean. And I'm going to do the Key, we the Key West color or whatever it's called on the little band. 
that all of these colors were used in the dirty pour blend, so it should blend pretty good. When we're done. Yeah, I'm not liking getting down too low until this dries because I might want to lift my container up to get down there. Um, closer, I'm not sure. Well, we'll have to see where I go. I'm talking ahead of myself here again. I do that a lot, sorry. I don't know, hopefully the camera's working and you can see how I'm painting the insides. Um, yeah, I'm so scared to go too low, can you tell? Can you tell I'm a little nervous about going low? Okay guys, just so you can see where I'm at, I'm taking a break. I gotta do a couple layers of this around the walls. But just so you know, that's what the inside walls are gonna look like and for right now. And it's gonna dry. And then um, I'll do another coat so it's more solid. And then we'll do the light color up top. There you go. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your project. Bye.